Good morning. Hello everyone. Happy Saturday. So, um, I did promise that we would go live again at some point today and that's now. Um, and wax this table. So I'm just gonna jump straight in. I am running a little bit late, but just rewatch this later. And if you are rewatching later, let me know in the comments. So today, um, so yesterday, little recap in case you missed the live. If you did miss the live, I'll have it up on my YouTube later today. Um, this table was painted with Purico chalk finish in the color Peppercorn, which is a beautiful dark gray. This is the gray, we used a 200 ml tub and we have used less than 50 ml of paint <coughs> to paint this. Oh, it's very shocking this morning. Um, so we've used Peppercorn to paint this and we used a natural bristle brush, not this one, but this is what they look like. And we painted in every direction, lots of little splodging, um, all different directions to create heaps of texture. So now it's fully dry, so I did that last night yesterday afternoon so that was about 2 33 o'clock we were doing it as i said yesterday i do like to make sure my paint gets at least overnight to fully dry to make sure it's 100 percent done um, before we wax so i've now come in this morning uh it's just after nine o'clock it is it's just after nine o'clock this morning so now we're going to wax it and this is where you're going to see all that detail from us painting in every direction and building up a little bit of texture, that's all, that, blah, 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 that is all going to come to life. So, um, wax is beautiful. It's really easy to use. I love it over chalk finish because it just, it, it just looks so natural. Um, it is a really, really nice finish and I use it a lot. So, um, we're going to be using liquid wax today, but I thought I would show you our two options for wax. So, we've got Pure Eco Beeswax Polish. This is the traditional style beeswax. I'll just pop this tin open so you can see. So, it's in the tin. It's super soft and buttery. Um, glides on really, really easily. It's very beautiful to use. It comes in a clear. Uh, the clears are 200 grams. They come in French pear and lemon myrtle. Um, and then we've got their colors as well. So there's quite a few colors. I think there's, I think there's six. Um, so we've got black and white, which I've got here. Let me pop one open to show you. The white's probably not a great example. It almost looks like the clear. Oh, there we go. So there's our black. Really, really beautiful. So it comes black, white. It comes in a pewter, which is like a gray. It also comes in a dark, which is brown. And I'm missing one. And a pearl. It comes in a pearl as well, which has got a little bit of shimmer to it. Um, and the pearl's really, really beautiful. So we've got the beeswax polishes. Now, just a quick note on wax. The beeswax polish cannot be used over the silk finish. Silk finish has a built-in top coat. If you were to put this over the silk finish, it's just gonna slide around. It's not gonna dry. It's not gonna do what you want it to do. So do not use this, the beeswax polish, over the silk finish. However, over the chalk finish is perfect. Um, a chalk finish is a porous paint, which means it has to be sealed. The wax just sinks in and it sticks and it stays where you put it. So um, this over chalk finish, no issues at all. Now, our other option for wax is liquid wax. Now this is like a thick, body butter moisturizer. It's really, really delicious. I've got some poured out here. You can see this is the clear. See how it sort of just, it's it's beautiful. It just sort of sits there. Um, it's a little bit, obviously this is more of a liquid than the other. In terms of usability, they're both about the same. The other is like butter, it just glides on. This goes on like a moisturizer. So um, just because that's a traditional beeswax, um, in a traditional wax in a jar, it still goes on just the same as this does. Application for both is exactly the same. All right, so 
Uh, a little disclaimer today, I am the kind of person that will use up old products before I open new ones, even though the new ones are the correct branding. Today I am using Lessential Botanics Black Wax. You can see I've got a tiny little bit left in my bottle. Um, Lessential closed down at the start of the pandemic. Purico brought their formulas. So the Purico Liquid Wax, this one, is exactly the same as this. Um, so just a little disclaimer so that you're aware exactly the same. What I'm doing today, you can achieve with the Pure Eco Wax. I'm simply just using our old product in this bottle. You can see I've only got a little bit left. Um, I'm just using up the product. That's all I'm doing. Um, so I've poured it out. I do find it easier. The liquid wax at the moment are in bottles. They are about to be in jars and I will have the jars in stock next week. End of next week, they'll be in stock. So they the same sizing, but they'll be in jars instead. So I, at the moment, it's easier because they're in bottles to tip some out. Now, I'm using a natural bristle brush. Again, same as what we used yesterday, except do not use the brush that you've used for your wax, for your paint. Um, the wax will play havoc with your paint. So keep your wax brushes for your wax. This one, I think I've used for brown wax previously. You can see a little bit of it on there. It doesn't matter. Um, the only time that might worry me is if I'm waxing a white piece, having color on the brush. You don't wanna be waxing a clear wax onto a white piece with a brush that's got some sort of color on it because you will see that color come through. So I do like to have a brush for my clear wax only and then a brush for my colors. I generally prefer to have a brush as well just for my white wax, um, just so that you don't get any cross contamination with the colors and you don't wanna have that issue, but it's up to you. These brushes are fine, they're five to $10. You can, if you were doing a lot of waxing, grab one of our wax brushes. I will show you what they are. Not quite as organized today. These are our other wax brushes. They've got the taper tip, they're $49.99. They are an investment, they are well worth the investment. Um, but if you're not doing heaps and heaps of waxing, or if you're just trialing it for the first time, grab one of these. All right, let's start. So I'm actually, let's do the draw first. So I've got black and clear. Clear, ooh, don't break that. <laughs> Um, the clear looks white, but it goes on clear. All right, let's grab our drawer and I'll show you what we're doing. So we're using the clear to erase and to just help our black wax move around that little bit easier. Um, the black wax, the chalk paint's porous, so it will soak in a lot. So let's start with some black. You really don't need a lot of wax. I've probably almost got too much poured out here, but you just need a little bit, and a little goes a really long way with wax. So this is our dried drawer. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get. No, there's not enough sun coming through the window today, so I can't even show you the texture. Oh, sorta, of, not really. <laughs> All right, so staying with our wax, you can go any direction you like. You don't have to be finicky about this. Hang on, I'm just gonna change sides because my left hand can't do this. All right, so you're just gonna brush it on all over. Let's do one half with just the black and then we'll bring in the white up the other end. Make sure you get those edges as well. Sorry, the clear. I was gonna use white, but I've decided just to use the black and the clear. So you just work it in, just takes a second. And once you've got it in there, you're gonna grab a lint-free cloth. It doesn't matter what you use, but if it is not lint-free, um, it, it is not fun getting that lint out of the wax. So lint-free is best. I recommend microfiber cloths. These are what I use. Um, I use the ones from Aldi. They are extremely good quality. They don't leave little bits of fluff and lint everywhere. I have tried some of the cheaper ones um, from, Bunnings and super cheap, and to be honest, I don't rate them that much. Um, but the Aldi ones have never disappointed me. They come in a 50 pack for like $16. Uh, so super cheap, super affordable. 
And all we're going to do, we're going to take our cloth and we're going to wipe that excess off. Just like that. Now you can see that black has really soaked in. Rub it a bit more to sort of really get some of that off. So you can see how much it's dark in the colour. You can also now see some of that texture coming through. It's sort of just grabbed hold a little bit. Alright, so that's our black. Let's come in with a little bit of our clear. Should have done clear first, but anyway. So again, this is why we don't use a coloured brush with clear wax if you're painting. If you are applying it over a light piece or a piece that you don't want the colour on. Because it's going to come off that brush as well, as you can see. So... We're just going to wipe it all over. You don't have to be super finicky when you buff it. That's when you're going to see the big difference. So, oh, sorry, that didn't make sense. When you buff it, you're spreading out the wax as well. So if you miss a piece, don't stress too much. Make sure I get the tops and the bottom. There's a bit much black wax on my brush, so that wasn't really as... Revealing as what I hoped. It looks a little bit different. You can't see the texture as well because there's nothing grabbing onto the texture. You can sort of see it, but it's definitely not as clear. I think the camera's seeing it. I hope it is. Facebook's quality is not always that great. So it really, it's really slight because there was black wax on my brush, but it's just enough. And because I've got that clear underneath, I can come in with the black straight over the top. And that's just going to help stop that black from soaking in too much as well. Um, if you are concerned about the wax sinking in too much and being a bit hard to move, uh, just pop down a little bit of clear wax first. It can make a big difference. You can also use the clear wax to erase the black wax. So just pop it over the top. I will, I will, I'll finish this today and I will photograph it today. Um, and I'll make sure I get some really good close ups so you can really see that texture. It looks incredible, but I know it's really hard to see with this quality. If you've got any questions, let me know. All right. So that's the draw. Really quick, really simple. Let's do the table. Where's our legs? Over there. All right. All right, so you can go in with either. Let's do some white wax. Oh, sorry, white. <laughs> Clear wax. You just want to brush it on. We've got some black on our handle as well. Some black in those crevices. That's a great spot. Any sort of detail that you've got, black is a great option to really, really highlight it. All the way around. Down here as well. Coloured wax is fantastic for highlighting detail, for adding a bit of grunge and age as well, because it can sink into all those corners and just sort of do its thing. Now the liquid wax does cure, so it does harden, it does dry. Um, it's got a natural oil in it that helps that process. And once it's done its thing, it's really, really durable. I'm gonna come in with some of our clear and just sort of fill in those gaps up here where I don't want quite as much happening. So you sort of just wanna put it all over, get it filled in, and then we buff it. So I like to work fairly methodically. I do one leg at a time and work my way around the table. You can leave your wax on there for a few more minutes, no more than like 15 to 20. At that point, you'll be finding it's quite hard to remove. So you do want to sort of just be getting it on and then buffing it off within a couple of minutes, ideally, for the best experience. Otherwise, you will find it's that little bit harder to remove. Like all over, just getting anywhere that I haven't already put the black. 
So it's just like um, for the ladies when you're contouring your face. So getting that darker colour where you want it, getting the lighter colours where you want it, and then blending it all together when you buff it. And I know you can't see it on the camera, but it really is grabbing into all that little detail that we popped on there yesterday as well. All right, oops, knocking thing. I'm gonna knock into that. Just tip that over. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna knock that over too. I'm knocking into, hang on. There's a, there was a frame just there and I kept walking into it yesterday. And I just walked into it again. So we'll move it before I break it. All right, so once you're on there, you can give it a minute if you want, but I generally just buff straight away. If you want your colour a little bit darker, you can certainly wait a moment longer. Bring it, come in with your cloth. Just keep rotating your cloths as well. And let's start up here with the light. Around here in the middle. I'm just sort of doing where my clear wax is first. Oops. And then I'll go over the dark. That way I'm not contaminating my cloth too much as well. And I can sort of keep some of that detail that we're creating. Super easy. So you just sort of keep rubbing at it until it doesn't feel sort of wet and slimy and waxy. And that's once it doesn't feel like, once the wax isn't coming off on your fingers like that, you know, you're good to go. All right. So you just want to keep buffing it until you get to that point where it's just not coming off. Your hand shouldn't be coming away waxy, but it is really important that you buff. Uh, if you don't buff it, that wax is just going to become a bit of a sticky mess as it tries and dries because it's just too much on there. Legs aren't an easy thing <laughs> to do sometimes. They're not easy to paint. They're not always very easy to wax, but they are well worth it. So we're just going to come in with our dark now. It's quite dramatic. You don't have to like buff super hard. You don't have to remove all that color. You just want enough so you're not leaving heaps of product on there and so that feels nice. It should feel really nice once it's done. If you've got questions, let me know as well. If you're re-watching this later, thank you for coming back and watching. I'll get this up on my YouTube as well. It's just the paint, brush and coat. All of our lives are uploaded there. Facebook makes it really hard to find them now, which is very frustrating. Um, and then I link, so a video like this, I'll actually link it into our website as well. So when you're looking at the products, you can see how we use them as well. All right, can you, yes, you can see. Can you see that contrast? Let me just grab, I'm just gonna grab this artwork. Yeah, it's gonna go blank back. All right, wiggle my way around. Oh, I'm just going to put this here because, there you go, it's a little bit hard to see with all the paint in the background. Can you see that difference? So this is just paint and this is the one that we've just waxed. See that difference in the colour as well because we've added the black? So it's gone a little bit darker again. If we just clear waxed it, it wouldn't be as dark. Um, but the black really emphasises that colour. I don't think you guys can see it that well, but it's really grabbed into all those little crevices. And it's just that little bit of extra detail that really makes the world a difference when it comes to this. Uh, it is well worth taking a moment to add a little bit of black wax. Um, you could add white wax as well. Uh, you'd get a slightly different finish, but it would be just as effective just to blah, 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 um, just to pick up some of that detail in the piece. And you can see how this would be super effective over a really intricate piece. You can really bring out those details. Um, even on a really plain piece that doesn't have a lot of detail happening, um, say a sideboard with doors that have got like a bit of a cutout in them, it can just be enough to bring out and give a bit of emphasis as to what's happening. How beautiful are these? I'm so excited about this piece. This is exactly what I was imagining in my head. 
All right, it's almost 9.30. Let's go for a little bit longer. And then I open at 10 today for my locals. 10 to 1. Um, we are pretty well stocked with Puri Co products as well. So for anyone wanting to come out today, it's a great day to do it. All right, which leg are we on? Oh, sorry. All right. If I could leave that picture up, I would, but it's a bit hard to do. All right, again, black wax. Let's get it into all those details. Sort of just following the same pattern that I've already done around all of this bit. Now, this leg had, where was it? Let me just check. Down here. I've missed a bit, there's a bit of paint missing, so I will just leave that one section and I will touch that up with paint before I wax it. You can't paint over the top of your wax. Your wax is always, always last. It's not optional, wax has to be last. You cannot paint over it. Um, so that little bit there, I will just leave so that I can touch it up after we're done here. Just getting that bit of detail. So I'm going to leave that bit there, but I'm going to do this bit down here. I thought I'd got them all last night. I did flip it up and check. <laughs> I still miss these. I always miss something. Just do this very bottom bit as well. I'm just going to go around, make sure that I'm getting in the right spot. If you do get it somewhere that you don't want it and you need to remove it, just use some really hot soapy water and you can sort of just melt it away and get rid of it. But Yes, it's just there, so we're gonna leave that bit. But most of the time, you don't. Like, I've only ever done that once, so. Just be ready to wax when you start. All right, now we're gonna come in with our clear. Again, just everywhere where we haven't added that dark. There is some dark on our brush, so we're still getting a little bit of that contrast. And you don't want to be putting this on super heavy either. Let me pour out some more. Here we go. I'm going to pour some now. So these are about to come in jars as well, which is a little bit easier. Can you guys see? Yeah. Then, then a bottle. And when it's cold, it can be really hard to get out of the bottles. Ugh. It's really cold in here. There you go. So it's like a really thick moisturizer it's absolutely beautiful it's really nourishing it is amazing on timber as well so this is the pure eco liquid wax um, but it's so so beautiful this is my favorite wax i do use this over the top of i use this before i will use the beeswax polish i just prefer it and it really is just personal pre personal preference <laughs> Um, and it's completely up to you which one you use. The beeswax polish is great because it's got those extra colours that we don't have in the liquid wax. It's got the pewter, it's got the pearl, um, and it's got the dark. The brown is slightly different, different shade to the um, liquid wax as well. So you've got a few different options there. Oh, we're leaving that bit. Just come down the bottom here. I'm actually just gonna leave that whole section so I don't wanna accidentally get wet where it doesn't wanna be. All right, cloth. Let's wipe out clear bits up first. So we're just buffing it down. And your application is exactly the same for both waxes, okay? Keep rotating your cloth as well. And if you do miss areas, don't stress because this is going to spread it out. This is such a beautiful color, this gray. This is peppercorn in chalk finish. And 
it is beautiful grey. It's exactly what I was hoping for. I really wanted this really dark, moody grey for this table. And I think the top, which is cedar, the whole table cedar, but the top's beautiful. I think that contrast is going to be really, really nice. So I'm very excited about finishing this one today. So if you pop in today, we or oh, I'll be here and we can uh, I can show you what we're up to and the finishes that we're achieving. You can even have a go yourself. I'm always happy to demonstrate products in store as well. So if you're not sure about something, coming in store is the best way to sort of see how it works. All right, how beautiful is that? So now I'm just grabbing all those bits where the black wax is and we're just buffing some of that off, moving the excess. So we've got a really, really nice finish. Running my hands over it, just checking anywhere that I've missed. You're, when you're waxing, your touch is your best friend. You wanna be really feeling that wax, feeling for any areas that you've missed. You don't wanna leave big clumps of wax behind because you'll end up with quite the mess. All right, we're gonna leave it there because I have to open the store shortly, but I'll keep going with this throughout the day. I'll keep going now. I just need to get the doors open. Um, but if you have any questions, let me know. I'm always happy to answer them. If there is ever anything else that you want to see me do, um, please just ask, let me know. Um, I'm trying to sort of create our lives at the moment using all different products um, and techniques and colors as well. I've had a few requests for a few different colors. This was one of them. So um, I'm just trying to plan my current pieces around what everyone wants to see. Uh, next week we will be using wallpaper in a bookshelf um, and doing some painting. So that's our paintable wallpaper next week. Um, I've primed that piece yesterday, but I've actually decided to leave it and it can wait till next week because I do want to show you guys that. Apart from that, have a wonderful Saturday. I'm here 10 to 1. 37 High Street, Eagle Hawk for all of our lovely locals. Um, enjoy your weekend. Bye, everyone.